Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 34 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Hello. Who is that, Demo? Hey. that Demo? Fireball. Oh, hey, what's up, Fireball? I have to do hey, thing. sorry, I was chatting with hey, uh, T-Fox about uh, your new pack, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's the word? We, well, it's uh, coming along pretty good. I found a couple bugs with AE last night, and we were trying to sort those out, so... If For only I knew reason. somebody who developed AE. <laughs> right? Seriously. The, the weird problem was, like, to make it so NEI wasn't, like, 800 pages long, they're only, they're hiding, like, all the duplicate recipes. So, for whatever reason, the facades are not craftable from AE, except for the one that shows up in NEI, but it works fine in another test world, so we were going through configs trying to figure out what the heck got config to make it break ah i gotcha yeah all right did you see that we found these giant blocks in the twilight forest yeah did you see that giant nine by nine that we made i did that's why i asked you yeah that's why i asked you how tall you made yours this mm -hmm. thing is each block is the size of it's like a four by four by four of a normal block right so it's, and you have to mine it with this giant thick hex. I don't know what it's nice. from, but it's from Twilight Forest. You know, uh, guys, let me figure out how to make it nighttime here. Does anybody remember what they have to put on the ritual stone to get it to be nighttime? Is it like a block of lapis or something like that? Uh, I feel like that was it. I'll be right back. Let me check. All right, yeah, I think I just put this here, and then I do that. All right, let's try that again. There we go. What I'm making, by the way, guys, is another necromantic stone. So how are you liking the pack so far overall, Fireball? Oh, I'm loving it. Yeah. I love that you added uh, big reactors to it, because that's an awesome mod, I think. Ooh, spoiler alert. That's all right. I'll let that spoiler slip through, and anybody watching this video can find out. Oh, you're recording. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oops. How do you like that mod, though? It's good, right? Yeah. You know, I haven't really played with it a ton, um, but what I did do was um, play with it a bit uh, during the Agrarian Skies playthrough. Yep, that would be the first time I played with it, was Agrarian Skies, and after that I was like, wow, this is a really good source for RF power. It is. You know, like, some people say it's overpowered, but honestly, like, it's probably more fun to build, like, a big multi-block structure than it is to build, like, a bank of, like, 30 of the same generator or something crazy yeah. like that, you know? Oh, so the so, old so. Steel gen uh, Steam generator from Ray uh, Raycraft? Was it Raycraft? Yeah, I think so Raycraft got boring with uh, all the time. Yeah. All right, um, nobody panic, but I'm probably about to summon a poltergeist. Good thing I'm not around. Um, I'm trying to remember if poltergeists are invisible or not. They are invisible. Um, so I'm probably going to want a brew of revealing. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to want. So let me get one of those brewed up real quick, and then we'll get to summoning, guys. All right, guys, we're back, and I'm making a potion of revealing. So let's see, I think I need mushroom, night vision. Ah. Oh, it doesn't seem to work, unfortunately. No luck? Nah. It just ignores the block. Is that any tile entity or just micro blocks? You're testing with the uh, builder from Buildcraft, right? Oh, that's correct. It just tile entities at the moment. I'm going to try energy cell right now. Gotcha. I guess if it can destroy the block and it drops a certain block, it can place it or something like that. Alright, nobody panic. I'm about to summon a poltergeist for real this time. Panic and do something. Panicking. Right? A little bit nervous. Poltergeists are bad.
The worst part is they're invisible, so it's going to be a little bit tricky to know when it's actually here. That's why I have this pro revealing, but it's like a splash potion, so... Oh, you know what? Hopefully this guy... Well, no, he's getting the spiffy particle effects. Might be a little too far from my altar, because I think he does need to be near the altar, I forgot. Well, that was weird. Hold on, I saw something. There he is, Poltergeist. Got him. That's a weird looking dude. We are having block lag, aren't we? Mm-hmm. A bit. Maybe that's why I can't pick him up. Come here, Poltergeist. Ah! Alright. I'm gonna have to try that again. Alright guys, time for the final piece of this puzzle. I need a scarecrow. Um, and I also need a pumpkin while I'm at it. Come here, pumpkin. And I need to turn that pumpkin into a jack o' lantern. This is the final piece of the sword control. So let's see scarecrow, I just need some wool. Should be able to make some string, right? Um, since you're playing with Witchery Tile, do you have a Rowan Sapling or a Whip of Magic lying around somewhere? I do. You're welcome to come by and get whatever you would like. At your base? Yep. Alright, so let me double check this recipe, guys. I need to make uh, Disorientation. So I need three Spirits and two Poltergeists. I have the items I need to summon two Poltergeists. Um, so let's see, let me just double check that, Refined Evil, Wormwood, and got my Brew of Revealing just to make sure that they're actually there, and I've got this thing. Alright, now to do that circle binding thing, I need the Rite of Binding, um, which needs a Scarecrow, and a Attuned Stone, a Necromatic Stone, and a Bowling. Alright, so I've got the Necromatic Stone, the Attuned Stone should be easy enough to make. And a bowling. Oh, this working. <laughs> nice. So I think this is everything I need. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna summon Thanks. the poltergeist. Whiff, uh, whiff of magic. What's that? The whiff of magic thing. There should be some in the A system. There's not. Yeah, There's yeah, a, uh, a diamond chest I, over yeah. by my um, uh, witchery area over here. Over here. No, I just took one. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Alright, so guys, I'm about to do some magic. So let's see. Let's get a recap of everything we need. Scarecrow, a tombstone, necromatic stone, diamond bowline. Sort my inventory a little bit. I'm actually going to dump a lot of stuff I don't need, so I make sure I don't mess up. Because this was a lot of work to prepare for, and I really don't want to mess this up. This can stay up there. I'm gonna need that. This should be good. All right. So, necromatic stone, a tune stone, scarecrow, and bowline. That's the stuff that's needed for that. Now to get my Prazier going, that'll get me the two Poltergeists I need. And then I can do the Brew of Revealing to make sure that they show up so I can see them. Then I drop these items on the circle and activate it. I think that's everything I need. Scarecrow, a Tombstone, Necromatic Stone, Bowline. And it's an 11-11. That's what this is, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah. 
So we're cool. Alright, so first off, let's summon our poltergeists. So we're gonna need one, two, three, and summon. And you should show up here. I'm gonna be ready to... I was gonna grab him with a lasso, but I decided, you know what, forget it. I'm not gonna worry about that. I can just summon him inside here. This should be fine. It takes about 15 or so seconds for him to show up. Come on now. Let's go. He should be trapped in here and he shouldn't be able to get out. In theory. Oh, there he is. Nice. So we know he's there. All right, so I'm gonna do another one now. One, two, three, go. Hey, where'd you go? Did he escape? I didn't think he'd be able to get out through a door. That's not good news. Get back here, you. Come here. Come in here. Almost got him. Come on, get back inside. Poltergeist. There you go. Can't get out now, can you? Ha! Sweet. Alright, now where's the other one? Hopefully in here somewhere. Alright, be right back. I need to find where that other poltergeist went. Alright, found the other poltergeist. Nice. Uh, so next I need to spawn the three subdued spirits. One, two, three. Remember when you kill the subdued spirits in the uh, place where you're at, they uh, drop those items that allows you to respawn them. So now Bolene, Tombstone, Necromantic Stone, Scarecrow. Sweet. Did it work? Some items popped out, so that's kind of cool. Maybe it did not work. Thinking... Insufficient power? What you talking about, Alter? Alright, back in a minute. I have to figure out why that might be. So this should only need 6,000. Alright guys, the altar's almost recharged. I'm thinking the poltergeist might have messed with my items. So let's try this one more time. It requires 6,000 power, so we should be good now. Two poltergeists still here. So let's be real quick with this, because the poltergeists like to mess with your items a little bit. That's probably what happened. One, two, three... They mess it up again? Alright, I'll be back in a minute again. Alright guys, two things. One, I notice my spirits keep dying, and two, I notice that the Poltergeists tend to hang out outside the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the ritual first. Unknown. Oh. All right. Cross your fingers. Nice. That did it. All right. That was the key. Activate the ritual first and then drop the guys. Cool. Uh, so I got Scarecrow with the Dorsal Orientation effect. That's what I wanted to see. All right, let's get out of here. And I'm ready to try this out on somebody on the server. Let's see, who wants to be a test subject for me? Ah, uh, my buddy Tema. Uh, Mind Martin, are you coming by? You just said you were going to come check stuff out. 
Apparently I did. <laughs> Would you mind helping me test something? Um, does it involve death? Uh, it shouldn't. Okay. Well, I was thinking, well, Soren isn't here, so... Maybe you need me for something uh, to die for. Oh no, that's quite alright. You should be fine. Okay. Where are you at? Uh, I'm coming to your base. Cool. I guess. Yeah, come on by. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, that's good. By the way, guys, this is what happens. <laughs> this is hilarious. One way. <laughs> uh, you did it already? Yeah, come on in. Uh, what? <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> it just turns me 180 degrees. Yes. Oh, I, I, I just wondered was like, uh, why it's lagging so much. <laughs> so nobody tells Soren, but this is the troll that I'm going to prank him with when we log in tomorrow night. <laughs> so it has a range, or? Yeah, yes. it does. I was wondering what I was looking like that, and suddenly I was looking at the other direction again. Huh. <laughs> Nice. That's really me. I'm back. I just turned it off. <laughs> nice. I didn't expect any more to add that, but yep, there is one. Yeah, I can uh, tag lock it too. So like, I can put myself on the whitelist and I won't get affected by it. Or, for nice. example, if I get your tag lock, which is really hard to get anymore. Apparently. It's, like, impossible is to it get arm tag locks. Is it armor related or something? I don't know. But I have had a lot of trouble getting tag locks. I have to ask Maybe. him about that. Maybe he just reduced the chance. So it's not that easy anymore. I clicked, like, a thousand times. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. <laughs> My chat log is completely full. Alright, so I've got my Scarecrow. I'm going to place it... I'm going to test it out, and I'm going to place it right down here. Hopefully where he won't notice. Like, maybe... Here? Now, stop rolling. <laughs> And I want my Soren tag lock. There we go. There Is we it go. <laughs> active right now? What's that? Is it active? Yeah, can you see if it works when you're up at the... Um... Yeah. I'm standing above you. That's oh, yeah. no, um, it's not active. Hold on. Whoa. There. there. Does if it I'm work? If I'm falling to death, because of the, uh, to death because of this, I'm going to blame you. That's fair enough. That's fair Does enough. it work when you're... Yeah, it works when you get close to the... <laughs> ah. That is awesome. That's like Stop speedo it. lag. <laughs> oh. It's really disorienting. It really is. That's the name of it. It's the disorienting one. <laughs> I kind of ah. want it to be like right underneath where the thing is. It's super disorienting, actually. This is awesome. Yeah. Uh, my Martin reeks, Fireball reeks. You all got some reek of misfortune. It's really hard to adjust when I'm not on the whitelist. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine that. Um, so let's see. I guess you just have to wait. I might want to bump it back. Well, I think it's actually fine where it is. You might want to cover it up so it's not seen from above. Yeah, I'm going to have like... Oh, I, I, mean, I meant the AE cable here. I love that.
That's kind of the plan. I was thinking about getting some, like, of the protection stuff. What's really funny is I could put this in the spirit world, and it would affect anybody in the overworld at the same position. But, um, alas, it doesn't work in non-overworld dimensions like this one. Oh. Yeah. No, well, because the, the positions aren't connected, I guess. Yeah. So I'm probably going to have this disabled. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it disabled until Soren gets on. And then I'll... I'll start her up. This should be an instability effect for Miss Growth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. So what do you guys think? Is this a good hiding spot for it, or do you think he'll find it easily? It doesn't have good. It doesn't have that good of a range, so... That's fine, I would say. Yeah. I mean, I don't want him to really see it here. Maybe do some, I don't know, decoration, decorating it up and hiding it. Nah, he would definitely be suspicious if there was anything decorative here. He'd be like, why is it decorated? <laughs> <True. laughs> this is direwolf we're talking about. Maybe like turn it in the 9 by 9 then. Uh, then. Maybe. I don't want to lose it either, because it was really hard to make. Like, I spent like three episodes working towards the things to make that thing. Or like the Oblox air block? The sky block? Or doesn't that really... Uh, I think that would be too suspicious because it's directly under the, the stuff. Uh, Does so anybody have the ability to make a, a warded block thing from Thalmcraft for me? Uh, TTFT cuts. Oh, he's offline, okay. Yeah. I could probably go to his base and... I can see if I have the Thalmcraft thing available. I'll be back. Oh, that's there. Yes. Where's Cuts' base? Yeah, I was just going to see if I had it. See what do I have? I definitely don't have much. Let me get this focus from Cuts and then we'll be right back, guys. Thank you, Cuts. That armor is awesome. Oh, nice. What is this armor, by, uh, by the way? I was wondering that. Uh, it's the crazy armor from Thalmcraft. That's new from Warp and all that. I honestly don't know all oh. the details. I think you have to kill the boss. I thought it was a, a blood magic rope because it was red. <laughs> So, we ward up the blocks. What I'm probably going to do is just break these. Also notice by the way he gave connected textures to his warding. That's kinda nice. But it must be new then. Yeah, like remember before each block was warded individually? Yeah. Now it's like a connected textures kind of effect where like that pattern is on the outside but the inside is like clear. It's really cool looking. Nice. Yeah. Alright, so Soren might find it, might not. Doesn't matter because he can't get in and stop it. <laughs> Oh man, that's awesome. Um, 
So my only problem is I won't be able to get it and stop it unless I keep a hang on to Cuts' stuff. So, Cuts, do you mind if I hang on to this wand for a little bit, or do you need it back right away? Maybe I'll keep it somewhere. I don't, I don't think Soren would know to look for it in the AU system. Yeah. You could yeah. do, uh, what is it well, called again? Only uh, you can unboard it. Oh, the only I can unboard it? Tests. Yep. Okay. So then, yeah, I'll keep it in the AU system then. That's fine. All right, guys. We'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back, and I think that is pretty much a wrapping up point for the episode. So the Soren troll is in place. Anytime he walks anywhere near to his Emmy crafting terminal, he'll immediately get spun around. What do you guys think? Is that a good troll? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought so. I, I saw the effect of that thing, and I'm like, I really gotta, I gotta, I gotta do this to Soren. Like, it needs to happen, right? So. It's done. It's ready. He'll be playing tomorrow, I believe. So I'll definitely be recording with him when he logs in and discovers this thing. Uh, remember, I do currently have it disabled, so nobody's going to be affected by it. I just need to go down there, break through this piece, use the Boleyn to you know, toggle it so that it goes into blacklist mode, which is Soren, and then it'll be active. And then whenever he comes by, we'll see what happens. So next episode, you guys should see the results of this little prank that I'm pulling. All right, for now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.